What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, with the introduction of the Root of Nightmares Raid, aka Ron, into Destiny 2 with the Lightfall expansion, we have a whole new set of raid gear to chase. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing all of the new legendary raid weapons, because guys, they are bonkers. Bananas, b -b -b busted like these are some of the best weapons with the best rolls I've seen in a while. Bungie always knocks it out of the park with having desirable and powerful raid weapons, and Ron is no exception. So let's get started. I will say again, we're looking at the legendary raid weapons. If you want to see the exotic weapon from this raid, it is pretty crazy as well. Already did a video on that. It is linked up above, so check that out. But let's get things started with the roles I acquired and what you're going to be seeing in the background gameplay. So as my primary, I have the Mikkel's Reverence Sidearm. This is a rapid fire frame archetype and importantly, my role came with an all new exclusive raid perk, Paracausal Affinity. Final blows of energy types matching this weapon's alignment grant increased damage for a short period of time. Light final blows boost arc, solar, and void weapons, darkness final blows boost stasis and strand weapons. So essentially, if you are using light stuff, again, void, uh, arc, or solar, that is going to be increasing the damage of that stuff. So normally, we see these damage increases off final blows. Uh, they want matching elemental types. A lot of stuff wants matching elemental types to increase the damage. This is one of the most uh, generalized and honestly, one of the easiest ways to start getting these damage increases because you don't even need to have that matching. You just need to have all light or all dark. Now, the all dark section is definitely a little bit limited with you basically having stasis and whatever strand weapons they literally added this expansion but as time goes on and more strand weapons are added and potentially we get a third darkness element with the final shape dlc this is going to get even better now moving on from there there's also the all new raid exclusive origin trait now this is harmonic resonance equipping multiple weapons from this set grants this weapon increased reload speed and handling. It also deals increased damage versus Tormentors, Lucient Hive, and Guardians using their supers. So kind of like a discount version of Vorpal Weapon. So overall, like having a set bonus in Destiny is very interesting. Potentially you could get your reload speed up quite a bit by using all three weapons from this raid with Harmonic Resonance. And the increased damage against something like Lucient Hive doesn't seem too amazing on a sidearm, but in some of the heavy and special weapons we're going to look at, uh, yeah, if you're doing something like the light blade strike for a grandmaster, that could actually come up and matter quite a bit. However, moving on from there, my special weapon is the Nessa's Ablation Void Shotgun. This is a pinpoint slug frame archetype, and I actually have a pretty saucy role here with Assault Mag, Repulsor Brace in the left slot, where defeating a void debuff target will give me an overshield. Hello, Volatile rounds, and then I actually have Vorpal Weapon for that increased damage against bosses. So, a pinpoint slug frame shotgun that can get Vorpal and other saucy damage increasing perks uh, is already very good. The fact that it's Void, especially in this current season with how juiced Void is with stuff like the extra volatile rounds uh, in the uh, seasonal artifact, bricks from beyond, all of that stuff, this could be very meta during this season specifically. But moving on from there, my heavy is the Caraxes Distress. Now, this thing is saucy. It can actually get reconstruction. So originally from the Deepstone Crypt raid, this is one of the best PvE perks in the entire game. And frankly, it is the reason the Deepstone Crypt god rolls were so good. So it's going to act like auto-loading holster, slowly reloading your weapon while it's stowed or out in your hands, but it does that to over double the magazine capacity. So I can turn my grenade launcher with normally five five rounds in the mag, if I just keep it stowed for a while and then take it out, it will have 10 
rounds in the mag. This is unbelievable for damage phases, right? Because if you're doing a, a boss DPS phase, whatever activity you're doing in a raid, strike, whatever, you're using your other weapons for the entire time until you get to the boss. Then you're whipping out your heavy and boom, it has double the normal magazine size for an insane amount of damage output. You didn't really see reconstruction too much on heavy weapons. The only example is actually the commemoration machine gun, which is cracked by the way. So seeing it here on a grenade launcher, yeah, that's a big deal. And this isn't the only time we see it. In fact, reconstruction, it seems like can spawn on pretty much all of these raid weapons, which is just insane. Again, this is one of the best perks we have in the entire game. An example of that actually is with this trace rifle. So the Acacia's dejection here. Uh, my teammate got this. Check this out. A solar trace rifle with reconstruction plus incandescent. Are you like that just seems incredible. The magazine size is a hundred. I can have a 200 round magazine size with incandescent getting all of those scorch effects synergizing with my solar build. Wow, what a phenomenal trace rifle. And trace rifles have gone up in value uh, more recently as people have started to run more double special builds. Like trace rifles are pretty darn good in those. But another absolutely crazy example of a weapon with reconstruction, guys. <sighs> Well, there's a raid linear fusion rifle, the Briar's Contempt. So importantly, this is the first and only solar aggressive frame three round burst linear in the entire game. And again, it can get reconstruction. So doubling your heavy linear fusion rifle magazine, not just any linear, again, aggressive frame, which does even more damage than your traditional linear. This would already be nuts. If the best possible role was reconstruction plus underdog, people would be freaking out. But as you can see, it can get something like frenzy to actually increase the damage. Reconstruction plus frenzy, the first and only aggressive solar linear like already this is one of the most desirable pve weapons in the entire game just for those factors like this is incredible but we actually have some more amazing roles here specifically there is an auto rifle that people are freaking out about the Refuse's Fury, or however it's pronounced, but this is a rapid fire frame, 720 rounds per minute auto, which is generally the best archetype in PVE, like pretty close to SMGs, and honestly quite slept on in my opinion. But you can see here, these weapons can also get rewind rounds. This used to be only available on Vault of Glass weapons in Destiny 2, but again, they've started to make their way on other weapons, and it's another phenomenal perk. So when this weapons magazine is empty, it refills from reserves based on the number of hits. So if you get like all precision hits, you get half your mag back, and then if for those rounds you get all precision hits, you get half of that back, and you can actually chain some pretty insane uh, magazine sizes together with rewind rounds. Now, it's not the best here on uh, this auto rifle, but I've seen rolls with reconstruction doubling the magazine size. Uh, in this case, Adrenaline Junkie is fantastic increasing damage that you can get uh, when you throw a grenade and just really being a great primary weapon and it's strand. So right now like a rapid fire frame auto that strand and has access to amazing perks. This is arguably the best strand legendary weapon in the game right now. In fact, this thing can apparently get Demolitionist. So yes, Demo plus Adrenaline Junkie is a wombo combo available to get. And how often do you guys use those strand grenades? Like the suspension grenades are honestly incredible. One of the best grenades in the game right now for how good they are at crowd control. You're telling me I can use this auto rifle and not only get more grenade energy for every single kill with it, but also instantly refill the magazine when I throw that grenade? Yeah, there are some amazing strand synergies available with a strand weapon with demo. Like I cannot wait to get that roll. But guys, this is just a small preview of some of the incredible 
incredible roles these weapons can get. Trust me, what I've showed you is only the tip of the spear based on what I've heard. Now, of course, uh, these are still like technically classified weapons, so we're gonna know more when you're actually able to craft these things, but oh my goodness, the roles look incredible. And again, you are able to craft them. Just get five, well, I shouldn't say just get, because it is quite the process, but once you get five red borders of a particular weapon, you just go and make your perfect god roll. Put on those enhanced perks, the perfect barrel, the perfect magazine, all of that stuff. You don't have to worry about getting the god roll. You just got to get the craftable version. So guys, that is it for the video and good luck. Happy hunting. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, so much of this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.